Melly says, I'm never going to get the voice I want because I can't practice because I share a room. I hear you, Melly. This can be a big problem for anyone who shares space with others, especially if you're not out as trans to your housemates or your roommates or your family. So with this in mind, I have compiled three strategies for covert trans voice practice. So the first strategy is to just start with the quiet stuff. When you're first beginning a trans voice practice, it's actually not all about doing really loud vocal exercises, vocalizations. You can just start with doing nice body stretches, face stretches, yawning, relaxation techniques, and doing exercises just to learn about what your instrument is and how it works. So just noticing things is a form of practice. You can also do quiet exercises to work on controlling the height of your larynx, which will impact the resonance of your voice. So you can start by yawning and then bringing your larynx up. So that is not loud at all, you can see. The second strategy is to lie about what you're practicing. There are plenty of reasons why somebody might engage in a voice practice that has absolutely nothing to do with being trans. So just off the top of my head, you can say that you're learning how to sing. That's a perfectly good reason to be doing voice exercises. You could say that you're learning more about public speaking. You could say that you're in a play. You can say that you are in a D&D group or you're LARPing and you wanna learn about how to voice different characters. You could also say that you are voicing characters for a cartoon, for a friend's animation project. There's plenty of reasons to be modifying your voice that have absolutely nothing to do with being trans, so just lie. And the third strategy is to practice outside of your home. So if you live somewhere more rural, you could go into the woods or into a park and practice alone where nobody can hear you. And if you're in a city, you can put an earbud in and pretend you're on a phone call and nobody will notice that you're practicing your voice. Just remember that just because you start to develop more control over the qualities of your voice, it doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to use your old speaking voice when you need to. In the comments, let me know some of your strategies for a stealthy trans voice practice.